it's so obvious and very very obvious that a lot of people out there most especially the ones burst back in the uk want the duke of sussex back that is one thing that is so obvious people can see it out here and with that we don't have to debate about the thing they just backed the wrong horses huh? and i bet it's a high time they also just eat their pride eat whatever they sowed they are now reaping whatever they sowed themselves so they shouldn't like bring a whole discussion or shouldn't just bring about a thing so many royal rotters stroke correspondents are out saying a uh, prince harry should come back to work for the royal family without megan remember because they know he's at the jewel in the crown it's as if they have a measure about why he left abuse was one but actually he will be sad and more constricted back there this is one thing i bet or i think as from my own perspective it is something that it's never going to happen whatever they are wishing for what they want is something that it's never going to happen bearing in mind that they just want to support one person and not withdraw their head over the other that's one thing because i bet harry and megan have made it it's so clear to us that they both work as a team so if they can't accept both of them harry is never going to make that mistake of going back alone the same way he stood as a man the same way he stood as a father and as a husband and decided to live with his wife i bet it's the same way he won't dare make a mistake of going back there alone the royal family has just shown how how at some point they don't they're not even sure about themselves because they don't know what they're doing it's eaten them from inside course. They just don't see anything good. And just observing the Duke of Sussex from a distance just gives them a lot in more fright. Just observing the Duke of Sussex out there doing what is expected of him, living his best life, that's among us the things that I bet really, really struck them down. And I bet that I get to see a lot a lot more is yet to be seen because they chose what they chose and decided to do what they do plus harry i bet has made also clear that he is never going to whine and dine with his abusers never going to whine and dine with those people who have no respect for his wife people who tend to abuse his wife just because she's black just because of her skin tone and stuff Harry is never going to whine and dine and I bet if he is going to even give them a single chance out of the same. It kind of all blows my mind when they even think it's an option. Why would he want to do that? The royal family blew it. Harry is free to work without constraints now. And once the guinea is out of the bottle, no one is going to get it back that's one thing i bet people have like that's a public knowledge huh? so if they don't understand that i don't know what to say i don't know what they are expecting but what i can say is that they are uh, the people they are they chose what they chose and currently should just be ready to eat or swallow their pride huh? Just be ready for whatever comes, for whatever outcomes, because those are some of the things that they chose. It's so funny at some point, so weird at the same time, because these were people who made Harry feel uncomfortable in his own home, in his motherland, where he was born and raised. Imagine you've been tortured in your own home, in your own country, they made harry feel unwanted like he was never appreciated i bet that's one thing they just need to kind of come to acceptance and be like you know what we just need to forget about this because harry imagine i just love the fact that when he was there he went made an appearance 
to the well child award did what he, he was expected to do as a patron of the well child award after that went and spent the night wherever he spent but no one the the, the uk press at large had no idea over the scene they were so much misinformed and I bet that's also eating them up because they're like, we no longer have access to the Duke of Sussex. We no longer know his moves. We no longer know what he does and what he does not. Those are some of the things that are eating them up. The next day made an appearance at St. George's Chapel, paid his respect to his late grandmother during his anniversary and after that, still made a move and went wherever he went sooner or later we just had he's already in the german i bet those are some of the things that are eating them up just bearing in mind they no longer have control over the duke of sussex they no longer have access over the duke and duchess of sussex and they no longer have these so-called insiders closed sources and stuff that will be leaking information to do with the duke and duchess of sussex this whole thing this whole we can like uh, showed how useless they are huh? showed like they no longer know what is needed of them and that they'll continue staying that way eh? without no information and as for harry going back to the uk i bet they can continue just making that a dream of theirs they can continue dreaming but it's coming to a reality personally i doubt the royal family, British media, and all the haters of Harry and Meghan have not come to terms with the reason why P.H. actually left the UK. That is Prince Harry, why he actually left the UK. As long as they are not willing to accept his wife and kids, he will never come to work for that institution. So it's a waste of time to hope that he returns to the UK. That's one thing like I totally agree. Like they've not come to acceptance huh, over the heat or the things that they did. According to them, I feel like it's normal. Huh? We, are, we are entitled to like speak how we want, do what we want. Huh? Spread negativity how we want. As it, to them, it's kind of a normal thing but they don't understand how it affects the other person they don't understand what it happens or what the other person goes through day in day out each and every single day every morning just having woken up seeing the negativity and uh, the hat been spread over you that person that you truly don't even deserve a single of it uk just lost a lot and uh, them are hoping that Prince Harry will be back to work in the UK in that toxic institution where he was never appreciated, never ever appreciated, or they didn't see his need or just made him feel so much uncomfortable. Trust me, you, it's, go it's going to continue being a nightmare to them. Harry, going back there so much okay living in a non-toxic environment and being able to do what work he feels he wants to do harry has said it whenever he and megan they do they do as a team megan they both do things as a team they coordinate so well as husband and wife as a team a team they cooperate together but that it's something like it, they don't know the fact that they still are doubling down on hating Megan for being a better and showing them up being a black woman shows there is no desire to modernize. There is no desire to change the status quo. There is no desire of going back there. There is no desire of you being in an environment whereby people hate you they just need to understand some of the things that they kind of are wishing so much i bet if none of them will ever ever come to a fulfillment when they left him go they knew exactly what they were losing and were happy to take that loss than have megan and the family as a working royal and harry bina in that guilt cage all Harry and Meghan ask was public support, 
Stop the leaks to the media. They would rather lose him than the media. Yani they showed how dedicated they are, how good or how much they trust the media and tend not to lose that good relationship with the media but lose their son and daughter-in-law. I don't know how to call that. I don't know how to call that, but that's totally, totally abnormal. Sorry, the Rangers, UK Press, UK Tabloids, the Royal Family, and the Royal Rota. Prince Harry loves Meghan and their two gorgeous kids. He is as loyal as they come. He will never leave his wife and kids for a play pretender monarchy with a disrespect. His little family, that cost is too deep. That's truly a man and that's truly a father who understand his words, who understand the need or the importance of a family and not ready to let go of that at any, any particular point. They just need to kind of get used to all this, just not being able to see the Duke of Sussex in their continent, in their country, some of the things that they just have to cope up with. But them expecting the Duke of Sussex back. It's going to take ages and ages and ages. They can continue making that one amongst their best dreams. But coming to a fulfillment, personally, I doubt. My perspective, I don't know what about you. That was our today's podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys in our next podcast.